and welcome to another video on my channel. My name is Victoria Waters and I'm the author of the Glendale Hall series of books. Coming names Glendale Hall and New Beginnings at Glendale Hall and the next one is out in September. Today I wanted to talk to you about my mug collection which is quite extensive. I think I just counted about 50 mugs so we might be here a while. Um, I might just select a few favourites for you if it's getting a bit of a long video. Um, I feel like most of them as well that I've sort of collected in the last couple of years and I hold Instagram solely responsible for this because I started to see mugs in the shops. I thought, oh, that looked really cute on Instagram, really nice slogans and it has spiralled. I am a fan of a slogan, as you can tell from my t-shirt. Um, so I thought I'd do the slogan mugs first because they're the ones that I have the most of and they're probably the most interesting to take you through. Um, I also kind of am running out of storage space for the mugs now, um, which is getting to be a problem. I tend to store them separately, so I have the ones that I use and the ones that I don't use. And mainly that is because I'm really lazy, and so I only use the ones that go in the dishwasher. And they keep the ones that don't go in the dishwasher separately, and they're just for taking pictures of and, and stroking and, and looking pretty, really. So, here we go. We're going to start with slogan mugs. So the most recent one that I got, which if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen, is this one. Cup of positivity. See, I love a good pun. Um, this one was super cheap and it's currently in Wilco now. It's only like 2 50 and it goes in the dishwasher and it's just, it's actually like perfect size and really cute slogan. So I would definitely recommend it. The next two are related to my other book, which is Summer at the Kindness Cafe. So this one's also from Wilco, currently in stock, 250, And it is throw kindness around like confetti. How cute is that? And then inside, it's a nice blue colour. I really like it when they are coloured inside, but I must admit, it's not very helpful when you're making tea. Do you find that? Like, I'm like, what colour is the tea? Is this nice? But again, they're just really nice shape at Wilco. Dishwasher proof and so cheap. Like, what? My second kindness themed one is this one. Kind people are my kind of people. This is really big mug, so it's really good in the winter when you want a really big, nice warm cup of tea on a cold morning. And I like the cute yellow handle. This one was from Paper Chase. I'm not sure if you can still get it. But Paper Chase, their mugs are really good quality. They're a little bit pricey though, but I think I may have got this in the sale. I'm not sure. But that's also a good place to try for mugs if you need them. Oh, I don't know where to start. I've got them all laid out in front of me. So let's go for this one. This one's cool. This one's called Woman Power. And again, I got this in Paper Chase. It's made by Caf... What's it called? Made by Yes Studio. And again, it's dishwasher proof. And it's just really cool. Like that one. And actually, similarly themed, I also have a Girl Power one. This one was like super cheap, like a pound or like 150 or something from Home Bargains, which is also a good place to sometimes try, but it's a little bit on the small side. Like if you wanted like a really big cup of tea, it's not the one to go for, I don't think. Um, and this one I got free actually with a package when I used to work at Waterstones and they had a promotion called Books Are, Are My Bag. You may have seen people with like the tote bag of that. And that was the mug. That's really nice, but again, it's grey and your tea looks kind of horrible in it. So I mainly use that one just for like Instagram pictures, really. Put that down there. What else have I got? So I've got another paper chase one here. Yippee tea. That one just makes me laugh. Just puts a smile on your face in the morning. That's a good one. Ah, this is one of my favourites. So 90s music to me is like still the best music ever. Mainly because of the Spice Girls. So I've already got a girl power one, but this one, spice up your life. Yeah, and it's hot pink. Woo. So this is one of the mugs that is not dishwasher proof and it is from New Look and all their mugs, I'm pretty sure without exception, are not dishwasher safe. So they all go in my jaw, but they have really cute ones and sometimes I just can't resist. So this one's just mainly for posing with on, on Instagram. Um, yeah, that's cool. And actually my t-shirt today is from new look so they are big on big on slogans if you're a slogan fan 
new look is the way to go this one sorry about the clinking i didn't really know how to how to hold the mugs that i was going to show you um this one i get a lot of questions whenever i post it online like where where is it from and i actually got it i don't know if anyone's ever been to hampton court palace there is a um a shop across the road that's like sells different knickknacks and souvenirs and things like that it's an in independent shop but you might be able to search online it's made by legami l-e-g-a-m-i so you might be able to find it online and it's this one and it's got book lover a person devoted to reading one who would rather stay inside and read than go outside and play that's so me someone who gets lost in the story loves to dream with open eyes Beware, never disturb a book lover when he or she is reading. Results can be fatal. Love it. And there's a really cute pile of books on the back as well. <laughs> so nice. And that is digital safe as well. So, you know, that's one I use a lot. Another book related one. It's this one. Bookworm. Which is a nice gold finish. This one was from Marks and Spencers, but because of the gold finish, you can't put it in the dishwasher. So again, I tend to post it like on a pile of books or something for Instagram, which looks really cute. I think that's all my book related slogan ones. <gasps> I have to show you this one. <laughs> Always overthinking everything. That is so me. I'm such a worrier and I overthink everything. So I saw this and I was like, oh my God, I have to have it. This one was from Typo. Um, and they do really cool slogan mugs, really cheap, and it goes in the dishwasher as well. So that's good. Um, this one. <laughs> this one was another home bargains bargain. Do not worry, be happy. Got the same on the back. That just always cheers me up. I just, oh, just can't go wrong with like a really good pun, can you? So good. Another one that actually helps with my overthinking is this one. I don't know if you can see because it's kind of so gold, but it says, don't stress, do your best. And was probably made for people like doing exams or something, but I just use it for everyday kind of um, reassurance. And the candle is gold as well. There's like a little sun, like star, sun and sky maybe in there. That was from next and actually even though it is gold that one goes in the dishwasher so that's good why can't they always put a glaze on it so it goes in the dishwasher ah i don't know this one is friends themed central park i don't know why i've put it in the slogan mug selection actually i should have put it with my harry potter stuff but never mind get it here this one is from truffle shuffle i've got another two here from paper chase which i'll show you so this one is fabulous so f for fabulous this one it just feels like really good quality like i just think their mugs in paper chase are really good quality they are a bit on the pricey side because of that like i think they're like eight pounds but they do last and they're all dishwasher proof which i like this one it's also from paper chase but i did get it in the sale so it was a lot cheaper and this one again is another like inspiring one which i really like don't quit your daydream so when i'm stressed about writing my next book use this one for my tea always cheers me up this one i get a lot of comments on if i ever post this online because it's just got really cute slogans i hope you can see this because it is quite small writing so i'll read that out so it's write more text less listen more talk less love more worry less so you can see why um it caught my eye that is from kiki k which again, um, it's quite pricey, but I think I got this in the sale and I have a feeling that they've maybe gone into administration with all the virus stuff, which is a shame because they did some cute stuff. Um, this one is from Matalan, I think, which is another kind of Spice Girly, Girl Power one, Boss Babes, got the same on the back, not dishwasher proof because of the um the goldness there so you've... Mm. it's okay i don't know how people do mug videos without all the clinking noises i'm sorry i feel like i've not got it sorted this one is killing it oh. 
I love it. But again, it's a weird colour for tea. Like, I can never get the tea to look nice in it. I'm not sure where this is from. Oh, Debenhams. Debenhams. I got that in the sale, actually, as well. So, some other cheapy ones from Home Bargains, I think these were from. So, Good Vibes. And I don't know if you can tell on here, but that's glittery. So, it's like embossed. So, again, that's not dishwasher proof. And then this one, because I have a cat called Harry. So, I'm always drawn to cat things. All you need is love and a cat. And then on the other side, a cute cat. Love it. This one, again, it's all shiny and embossed, so it's not dishwasher proof. And this one is from Sainsbury's. I like the bronze. It's kind of rose gold, which is cool. Enjoy today. Um, they have some good mugs in sometimes. You have to just keep an eye. And this one, this one's from Tesco, which again, they have some good mugs in sometimes. You just have to keep checking, really. And there's a quite good value, like... I feel like this was 250 or something. Be awesome. It's got Sam on the back. And then inside, can you see that? It says every day. And that is a really cool big mug for cold mornings as well. So three more slogan mugs. Stay with me. This one is from Typo as well. So again, they're really cheap in Typo and dishwasher safe. And they're quite cool. So this one says daily reminder, love yourself. So that's a nice pick me up one. Sam on the back. And then my final slogan mug is Little Miss Princess because I still feel like I should have been a princess and I'm still quite upset that I'm not. And on the back it says practically princess in every way. So cute. I think I got that in Waterstones actually. So I'm not sure. Did I get it in Waterstones? I might have just completely made that up. I'm not sure, sorry, but you might be able to search online for Mr. Men and Little Miss mugs. And that's dishwasher safe as well. So cute. So that is my slogan mug collection. So now I'm going to take you through the rest of my collection. So I've got a lot of mugs with my initial on and I've also got some cute character ones, Disney ones and Harry Potter ones. So I'm gonna show you those Okay, so now I'm gonna take you through the next um, part of my collection, which I'm gonna call like characters, cute mugs, cute, cute character mugs. Um, so first of all, um, I've got some Harry Potter mugs because I am a fan of Harry Potter, um, as you probably can tell because I call my cat Harry. And they just make some really cute mugs, so I, I can't resist. Um, so this one is, don't let the muggles get you down. I just love so much because Let's face it, sometimes people can get you down. And um, they're just muggles, really. So, yeah, just have, have your tea in this and cheer yourself up. That one I'm pretty sure I got in Primark, which, as we all know, is good for Harry Potter-themed things. Got another one here. This one is Platform 9 and 3 quarters, Hogwarts Express-themed. And on the back is just the Hogwarts crest. That actually was from Tesco's. Um, again, that was really cheap, like £2.50. So they're, they're good for a try for um, Harry Potter as well. This one I actually got in my local garden centre, but I'm pretty sure I've seen it in like Primark and places like that too. So it's a Gryffindor one, which I say is my house, but I'm really not as brave and courageous as you're meant to be in Gryffindor, but we'll just go with it. And then I've just got a plain black and white Hogwarts Crest one. And I'm not sure where this was from. I think it was from Primark again. And then one of my favourite ones, I got this for Christmas one year, is a Dobby one. I just love Dobby. Still not over it. Um, so on this side, you've got Dobby is a free elf. Dobby has no master. And then this side, free the house elves. So it's just, I love the gold detailing. And unexpectedly for gold mugs, you can put it in the dishwasher. So I use that one quite a lot, actually. I really like that one. So let's go Disney next. I actually don't have as many Disney mugs as I thought I did. I feel like I should rectify this. But I better not buy any more mugs. We still will. This one I got for Christmas. I wanted it for ages and um, it was waiting for me when I was having Christmas dinner one year. And I was so excited like embarrassingly excited chip 
what is a mug collection without a chip, eh? And I don't know where the person got it from, but I think it's a pretty standard chip one. Like I've seen it online a lot, so a little Google hopefully you can find it. And then this one is from Kath Kidson. I actually got this in the sales. I was super excited. Look how cute. Mini is definitely a fave. So cute. And they're good quality, Kath Kidson. Um, and then finally, I've got this Mickey one, which um, actually, oh, I could have put my V section. Oh, Disney or V, I don't know. Well, it's, a, it's a combo. So it's got Mickey and my initial, and it's red inside. And this one is from Disney Resort Paris. The one and only time I've been to a Disney um, park. Oh, loved it. I need to go. I need to go again, don't I? It's so good. What else have I got? Some more cat mugs because you know I like my cats. This one again was a present, but I think it was from John Lewis. Cute. And it's got the tail. Not dishwasher proof, maybe because of the ears. And then this one I love. <laughs> Don't stress me out. You know by now I love a good pun. And a cat pun just, well, it's just the ultimate, isn't it? This one was from an independent shop actually, um, but it is a Sassen Bell mug. So I think they have a website and I'm pretty sure you could find that online. And then what have we got? We've got some Star Wars mugs because I do like Star Wars. Um, so you've got the classic Star Wars cast on this one. Star Wars. This one was from Waterstones. They often have a Star Wars mug in. It's a nice one. And then my most one of my most recent mug purchases because I got Disney Plus during lockdown, which I feel like we all did. And I watched the Mandalorian. <laughs> I just got became quite obsessed with baby yoda i don't know if anybody else did um just so cute i had to get a baby yoda mug and this is precious cargo and mandalorian you've got baby yoda star wars in the middle and him again on the back this is from hmv i got it from their website i think it's still on there now the thing to remember with hmv mugs is um they say they're dishwasher proof but they're only dishwasher proof to like a certain degree. And I can't remember what it is. And most dishwashers are hotter than that. So unless you have it on a special setting, it is going to fade. So I don't put it in the dishwasher. Because it happened to me once. I had like a friend's mug from Ward, um, not Waterstones, HMV. I put it in the dishwasher and it just completely faded. So watch, watch their um, little tagline for dishwasher proof because I don't believe it. And this is again another really cheap one from Tesco. Wonder Woman. I watched the Wonder Woman film and just really wanted some Wonder Woman stuff. So I got this. I also got a t-shirt, which I think was from Misguided, which I love. So they're my kind of cute character ones. And then we're in the final stages. So actually, it wasn't too big my collection, was it? I have actually sneakily lied to you and I have got some that I'm not showing you. And they are my Christmas mugs because I thought actually that would be quite fun to do a Christmas mug collection one when we get towards the season so oh i forgot this one so this one i got for like valentine's props on instagram stuff like that i can't remember where i got it from i feel like i want to say sainsbury's but it would say sainsbury's on the bottom and it doesn't it doesn't say anything so i'm sorry i'm not sure about that one but it's so cute and it goes really well because my new book is called hopeful hearts at glendale hall out in september so I've been using that as a little prop because of the hearts. See? Always on brand. So finally, I don't know why, but I'm drawn to things with my initial on. I don't know if anybody else is. So I just brought a picture in my room, which you might have seen if you follow me on Instagram. And I'm just, yeah, I have notebooks and I'm just drawn to it. I don't know why. So I've got several mugs. Some I bought as gifts because people know that I like the Venus. Um... This one I got the same time that I got the Kath Kidson Minnie Mouse mug. And this is, got my initial on and some pretty flowers, which is really cute. This one is from Tesco. Again, in the sale, they have some really good bargains there. This one is really big. So I don't actually use it that much because it's quite like big and heavy, but again, on a cold winter morning, perfect. And this one, this is a funny story with this one. So I got this one, I think my mum got me this one, it's from Tesco's. 
and it's huge. I don't know if you can tell that. And it's kind of weirdly proportioned, so it's really big and then really small here. So <laughs> I was taking some Instagram pictures and had it like on the carpet with tea in. And it just fell over because I just don't think it's well proportioned. And yeah, the carpet was kind of ruined. So I don't use this at all. This just stays in the drawer <laughs> safely away from accidents. Um, oh my God, this is Tesco as well. So if you ever want initial things, go to Tesco. Don't think, this one isn't dishwasher proof because it's shiny. It's got some cute flowers and another V inside, which is nice. And this one is from Matalan. Gold V and dots. And again, that's not dishwasher proof, annoyingly. And I think I've got tiny tiny V on the inside can you see that so that's nice and then finally this one was actually a gift from my publishers when I went to see them in London because they'd obviously just seen my obsession with bugs, mugs and my initial and that's just a really nice peachy kind of colour V that one is from m &S. and as we have discovered previously with m &S, it is not dishwasher proof it's weird how certain shops just like make them all dishwasher proof and others don't does it cost a lot to make a mug dishwasher proof? If you know, tell me in the comments. That's interesting, actually. But it can't do because some of my really cheap ones go in the dishwasher. Ah, don't know. It's definitely the ones that are goldy and glazed. But then the, the one from next, with don't stress that's goldy and that goes in the dishwasher. I don't know. I don't understand. Tell me in the comments if you could be bothered. It's probably not something that keeps people awake at night. But there we go. So what do you think? That's my mug collection. So it's not too crazy, is it? Tell me, how many mugs do you have? So I think there's about 50. But as I said, I didn't count my Christmas mugs. But I will do another video about them soon. If you enjoyed it, please do su subscribe to my channel. And also come and follow me on Instagram. I'm at Vicky J Walters. And also, don't forget, which behind me, my books. Yay! So yes, they are perfect to curl up with, with a mug of tea. And enjoy and get cosy. So yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all next time. Bye.